All right, so let's look at question five. All right, so right here we've got an, uh, an example of a polynomial function. And what we want to do is come up with the equation for it. So the first thing I want to find is I've got uh, an, uh, a zero here, a zero here, and a zero here, otherwise known as roots as well. So I'm going to need to uh, at least just figure out what the zeros of the function are based on the graph that we have. We have many points, but the ones that we're concerned about really <laughs> excuse me, are uh, these here. So I'm, I'm going to cross at negative 3. I'm crossing at negative 1. I'm crossing here again at 1. Now, for practical purposes, since we don't um, have much more information than these three zeros, we're going to have to assume that we're looking at a third degree polynomial equation. And remember, the third degree is a cubic equation. So I know based on what I have here that um, we're looking at a cubic equation. It doesn't tell me anything else about, you know, that I have three zeros here and I have three zeros here or here. I only have that information that I'm crossing here. So <clears throat> let's take these zeros and we're going to turn them into factors. So we know that my equation is going to be a y equals. If I have negative 3 as a 0, remember that turns into a factor of x plus 3. If I have negative 1 as a factor, uh, sorry, as a 0, then it turns into x plus 1 as a factor. And then we have 1 as a 0, so we get x minus 1 as a factor. Now from class I had said that uh, one of the things we want to try to do is whenever possible deal with the easier ones together and notice how here I have an x plus 1, I have an x minus 1, so it's a difference of squares. So I'm going to have the x plus 3 come along for the ride and I'm going to go through and multiply all this out. So let me change colors just so it's, you know, it doesn't get too too confusing. So x times x, remember that's going to be x squared x times negative 1, that's going to be a negative x, but then that's going to be canceled out by this positive x here. So we have a negative x, positive x, that's going to add out to 0. So now let's go ahead and multiply the two last terms here, and I've got a positive 1 and a negative 1, so that's going to give me minus 1. All right, so let's now take a look at what we have left. So now we have to take the x and multiply everything out. So an x times an x squared is going to give me an x cubed. An x times a negative 1 is going to give me negative x. 3 times x squared is plus 3x squared. And then uh, 3 times a negative 1, that's going to give me negative 3. All right, so my question to you is, am I done? Wow, well, look up here, right? I have to write this in standard form. That's not in standard form, I'm not in the right order. So y is equal to x cubed. I have to write in descending order of my degrees of each monomial. So I have the cubed, now I need the squared term, so plus 3x squared. Now I need the x, minus x, and then the constant at the end, minus 3. All right, so if this equation, okay, if I have this equation right here, and that's the graph, I mean, so I've got this graph, this graph will be modeled by this equation, okay? So there's the answer to number five. All done, moving right along, thank you.